Putin Mifflin Reading presents Fables. What makes a fable a fable? Here are the characteristics of a fable. They are fiction. They are short stories. They were written long ago. They usually take place outside. The characters are animals that act like humans, and they teach a moral lesson. As you listen to the following fables, pay attention. Do they have the characteristics of a fable? The hare and the tortoise. The hare teased the tortoise about being so pokey. I get where I'm going as surely as you do, said the tortoise. But I get where I'm going faster, said the hare. The fox suggests that they run a race to settle the argument. The hare laughed so hard at the idea that it made the tortoise angry. I'll race you and I'll win, the tortoise said. The race had hardly begun before the speedy hare was out of sight. The hare was so sure of himself that he lay down by the side of the path to take a short nap. The tortoise kept plodding slowly along. The hare woke up just in time to see the tortoise cross the finish line and win the race. The moral of the story is, slow and steady wins the race. The tortoise and the hare. Who are the characters in this fable? The tortoise and the hare. What was the moral lesson in this fable? Slow and steady wins the race. Or you can achieve a goal with small steps. Or finish what you start. Finally, believe in yourself. Think back to the fable, the tortoise and the hare. Does it have characteristics of a fable? Was it fiction? Was it a short story? Was it written long ago? Does it take place outside? Are the characters animals that act like humans? And did it teach a moral lesson? The Crow and the Pitcher. A thirsty crow found a pitcher with a little water in the bottom, but he couldn't reach it. He collected a number of pebbles. Then he dropped them one by one into the pitcher. Each pebble raised the water a little higher. And at last, the crow could reach it and get a drink. The moral lesson here is, little by little does the job. The Crow and the Pitcher. Who were the characters in this story? The Crow. What was the moral lesson in this story? Little by little does the job. Or, where there's a will, there's a way. And, there's more than one way to get the job done. Think back to the crow and the pitcher. Does it have characteristics to make it a fable? Is it fiction? Was it a short story? Was it written long ago? Did it take place outside? Are the characters animals that act like humans? And did it teach a moral lesson? The grasshopper and the ants. All summer long, the grasshopper sat in the sunshine and sang, while the ants were busily gathering food for the winter. Winter came and the hungry grasshopper asked the ants for a bite to eat. But the ants sent him away saying, If you were foolish enough to sing all the summer, you must stand supperless to bed in the winter. Lesson here is, you can't play all the time. The grasshopper and the ants. Who were the characters in this fable? The grasshopper and the ants. What was the moral lesson of this fable? You can't play all the time or work hard today and you can reap the benefits tomorrow or preparation leads to success. Think about the story of the grasshopper and the ants. Does it have characteristics to make it a fable? Was it fiction? Was it a short story? Was it written long ago? Did it take place outside? Are the characters animals that act like humans? And did it teach a moral lesson? Belling the cat. The mice held a meeting to decide what to do to protect themselves from the cat. One mouse suggested that they tie a bell around his neck so they could hear him coming. Belling the cat is a good idea, one old mouse said. But which of us is going to do it? The lesson here is, some things are easier said than done. Belling the cat. 
Who are the characters in this fable? The cat and the mice. What was the moral lesson of this fable? Some things are easier said than done. Or, a good idea to solve a problem is not good if you can't actually do it. Is Belling the Cat a fable? Was it fiction? Is it a short story? Was it written long ago? Did it take place outside? Are the characters animals that act like humans? And did it teach a moral lesson? Let's review the characteristics of a fable one more time. Fables are fiction, they are short stories, they were written long ago, they usually take place outside, the characters are animals that act like humans, and they teach a moral lesson. Hooten Mifflin Reading California Adventures Created with work by Hooten Mifflin Read by 